Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to episode 48 of my Terraria Let's Play series. And right now, I am in a world that I wanted to just show you what, something that I was working on, uh, so you know that there is some stuff coming from it. Uh, sometime in the next few weeks, I, I don't know exactly when or how long this will take, but I'm going to start doing some episodes about uh, the worlds in general. Like, for instance, the world that I'm currently in, what I'm doing is I am gathering all of the blocks between the main ground and the top of the, the lava part of the underworld uh, and just putting them in chests just to see how much space they take up. Uh, this is going to be a... Uh, somewhat of a long-term project, but it shouldn't take me hugely amount uh, a huge amount of time. But uh, this is not what the episode is going to be about. I just wanted to show you this to to get the thing going. Uh, what I'm going to be working on today is in my real let's play world. I have a few projects I want to take care of. Uh, not the least of which being, hopefully, to beat the Frost Moon later on. But I still have to do a little preparation before I can actually take care of that. I did manage to get the Tsunami Bow, so that, that's awesome. But I still need to figure out exactly what gear I'm going to need to uh, go along with the bow. I think I set aside some archery potions somewhere. Let's see here. Maybe in this chest? No, 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 no. Huh. I know I set them somewhere. Where are they? Oh, there they are. There's the archery potions. I have the potions in the potion chest. Hey, who knew? Uh, but I also need to figure out what, what armor and stuff I'm going to need uh, in order for this to work. I think... It's loading costumes. I think I'm going to need, among other things, is it this one? Let's see here. I might be wrong on this. Um, no, that's the cactus stuff. I don't think that's archery. But let's find out. Uh, just regular defense. I don't think it even has any attributes. Let's see here. Nope, no attributes. I know it's a green one. I seem to recall that there's a green outfit somewhere that deals with archery. Maybe it's this one. I saw this guy up here. What are you? Maybe it's the chlorophyte stuff. That's melee. No. I thought for sure. What's this? That's the jungle stuff. What are these? Mana, magic. No. Like I said, I'm going to have to figure out exactly which gear it is that I'm going to need in order to do this uh, and I'll, I'll try to do that before the end of the episode but uh, the thing that I wanted to take care of before I actually get into that fight is I am going to start working on some railroads uh, or at least one railroad and in order to, to do that, I'm going to need, I think I figured about 30 iron. Oh, I only have 11 iron there. Wait, hold on. Ah, I have iron ore. Uh, I need some iron and I need some wood uh, to make some rails. Let me go ahead and make one of those real quick. What am I doing? One. And 
some amount of wood. I'm pretty sure this is how to make it. Find out here in just a second. That's iron fence. There we go. Minecart track. One iron and one of any wood will get you 30 of it. That's nice. Uh, and there are different types of mine track. Let me go ahead and put these down real quick. Find somewhere up here where there's no one standing. I said where there's no one standing. Let's go to the roof. Onto the roof. It makes a nice little clunk sound. And then with the hammer, you can change what type of ending it is. One will reverse your direction. One will uh, just stop you and dismount you from the minecart. But once you get in, or once you click on a rail, it automatically pops you into a track. And then you can, let's see here, melee or whatever to get out. But let's see what these different settings are. I believe this is the one that will just allow you to yep, hop off the track. And when you're in a minecart, it will do falling damage no matter what you're wearing. So be careful with that. Let's see here. The third one is a bumper. Let's do get over here. And then it makes a nice little boing noise. I wonder... There we go. No arrow keys. I am just boinging to my heart's content. There we go. So that's what the minecart track is. Uh, now what I want to do with it is make a rail that runs from my base of operations here all the way down to here. I'm going to make a, a little entrance into the jungle temple. Uh, I'm probably going to go overshoot it and then come in, I don't know, right here maybe? That, that might work. Have the output there. So I'm going to have to come down to this level here. And it's going to just be a 45 degree angle uh, descent. So it'll probably join up over in this area. I was thinking of having the entrance to the track, having it under this building so that I don't have to worry about uh, making a whole new area for it uh, or interfering with what I have already. So probably going to be there. But I need to start doing some serious clearing in order to get this to work. So I'm going to get started on that. Let me, let me get over here and just take a real quick look. Yeah, that, that should work. I could just have the entrance here and then have a, a little room. Nothing too terribly fancy. Put a little door on it. And then starting right here, it's going to have to be Ha! Ah, you can't get me. A 45 degree slope. But what I was wanting to do with it more specifically is uh, see if I can put a, a back wall in. But the only way to really do that is to start clearing out the back wall from the top down. So I'm going to have to take this with me. Now I don't know if there's a point where uh, I just can't clear out the back wall on my own if if it's just permanently world gen back wall uh, we'll find out but I, I did want to do this really quick get some light in here because I want to see if there we go if this is going to interfere From me getting on there. I see you. Alright.
Oh, and you can just go up normal speed. That's nice. Now there is booster track. Oops. There is booster track that you can... Uh, I don't know if you can actually craft it, but I know you can buy it. Which will help you go faster. Let's see who sells that. I believe... Well, I don't think it's her, is it? It is! It's her! Uh, it's the mechanic. Uh, she sells one booster track for 50 silver, and it will greatly s speed up your movement. I don't know uh, for how long, uh, or if it's a permanent boost or whatever, but uh, you can go faster, but I, I shouldn't need to with that slope. I should be able to just coast on down, but we'll find out. So... I'm going to get to work on clearing that out, making it a bit more presentable. It's probably going to take me a little while. Uh, but when I have it at least cleared out, I'll be back and we can give it a test spin. So I'll talk to you in just a moment. Okay, so I have discovered that the back wall can only be removed so far down. Um, there are two different types of back wall, apparently. Uh, you can see the dirt back here, uh, and you can still see the terrain back behind me. But once I get to this point here, there's an additional texture which does not count as back wall. I can actually place wall over this, apparently. Uh, and you can see that here, when I am in the little crimson uh, hive, whatever this is called, uh, I have cleared out some back wall uh, from the hive, the red stuff there, and you can see the underground rocky background, additional background as, as well. So I can place wall, so that's a good thing. Uh, I just have to, on some of these areas still down here, clear it out. But that, that does mean that some of the areas, like for instance from here... To here there was nothing for me to dig as far as wall so that might actually make things a lot easier going down uh, but I am a little bit of the way I am a notable fraction I would say was that about a sixth of the way maybe a little more than that let's see here I am down here So it's not too bad. Uh, so I'm going to get back to work and clear this out. Now when I'm done, I'm going to be putting in my own wall background. Uh, so since it's player placed wall, things won't be spawning inside this tunnel. Not that that really matters anyway. Apparently the, uh, the minecart will just smush anything it drives over. But I... I I would prefer for things to not be spawning in here, so that's what I'm going to be working on, is shoring up the, the wall, and also I will be placing an additional layer, uh oh, a blood moon, that's great, over this, uh, and that's what the track will be getting placed on, as well as another one for the ceiling, so it will actually be, let's see here, this one, it will actually end up being that tall on the inside but that's still plenty of room to go with the mine track so i'm going to get back to work possibly have to deal with the blood moon and i'll be back all right so i'm about a third of the way down it looks like and i have found a spider cave and in this spider cave i did not find the npc unfortunately but i did find an interesting looking chest which has some nifty loot in it including this thing called a web slinger which is as you might imagine a uh, a grappling hook thing but it has eight eight different things on it eight different uh, grapple uh, hooks, I guess is the, the right term for it anyway. Uh, because, of course, the spider has eight legs. But, 
in and of itself, that's pretty cool. I also managed to get some spider fangs. I don't think I've had any of those yet. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I just wanted to show you the, uh, the, s the web slinger. And also, what is this? A web covered chest. Okay, cool. What's in here? Anything interesting? Mm, no. More loot. Oh, dear. Um, let's see here. What can I dispose of? Anyway, uh, I'll continue working. I'll be back. Okay, I have the ramp in place. It goes all the way down to the level where I'm going to have it. Uh, just head straight over to the area under the chamber here. Um, now I need to go ahead and just fill this in with uh, the... Uh, I, I'm probably going to just use stone bricks because I have plenty of stone. I don't want to spend too many resources on it. But I also am going to need a wall. There again, maybe stone wall. Uh, perhaps, here's a thought. I could use wood for the f top and bottom and then stone for the wall. That way I could have it a little changed up there. Uh, but the tunnel itself is dug and I should be able to hopefully have enough room to do some uh, track maneuvering. Actually, let's go ahead and test that. If I put in some of these like this, and then have a ceiling like so. Yeah. Then lay some track. Clang, clang, clang. All right. Oh, come on, just go away. Yep, that works. Plenty of room. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set everything up. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. The rail doesn't actually have to be on a block. That's something neat. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set in the floor and the ceiling and I'll get started on the wall and I'll be back okay so I was getting ready to make some of the mine track that I need in order to get over to the temple I'm going to need about 5800 or so uh, track and, and that's going to require uh, roughly 193 to maybe a little bit more uh, iron bars in order to make I don't have that much I, I'm about 60 shy which means I'm going to need to go find another hundred or so iron ore which might take a little while but uh, I should be able to find it in relatively short order uh, but as I was looking past the items scrolling up to the mine track which is up here somewhere I'm sure there it is I noticed something as I was scrolling past that I have not seen yet it is called the heavy workbench I'm going to go ahead and craft one here uh, this thing if I can figure out where I want to put it uh, you know what I could do something like this. Eh, let me over. Will it fit here? No. Probably need to go one farther down. Break 
these. Oops. There we go. The heavy workbench. Now let's get back up inside. This thing enables one to make a, a few interesting items. One of them is called the text statue. You can make letters and I presume numbers. Let's get up here. Yeah, and there are the numbers. Uh, you can make these text statues, uh, which can be placed just like regular statues. And there are a couple other things that this can make. Uh, I looked it up. There's stone slabs, sandstone slabs, copper plating, and tin plating. I'm not entirely sure what those are or, or how they look, but let's find out. Because I am interested. Let's see here. I'll need... Uh, I'll just go ahead and take these. Why not? I'll take ten. There we go. Ten of those, and I'll need some copper ore and some tin ore. Take ten of that, and ten of that. Okay, so what do we have here? Up at the top, wow. Scrolling past all this. It's a wall of text, literally. Okay, we're getting in the right area. Let's get to the top here. So, the stone slab. This is what that is. So let's go ahead and make a few of those. And then we have... Oh, stone slab wall. And you can make stone slab back out of the stone slab wall. Okay. Sandstone slab. It does not look like you can make sandstone slab wall. That's all right. Uh, copper plating. And tin plating. Oh. I'll take some of that. And some of that. Sandstone slip. You'd think you'd be able to make a wall out of the sandstone slip. That's all right. So let's see how these look. I'll just come over here for right now. Ah, let me up. We have... Stone slab. Okay, that looks kind of interesting. And the stone slab wall. Alright. Go ahead and smash the wall back. We have the sandstone slab. Okay, that looks kind of cool. The copper plating. Oh, I like the rivets. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like rivets. Okay. I can dig it. Get these guys back. And then we have the tin plating. Oh, look at that. That's sharp. I like how the different cracks and whatnot line up with each other. Oh, that is cool. So, I think I have a... Possibly a new favorite texture. Uh, I'm probably going to have to find some sort of use for that. 
Let's put them... Whoops, I missed the opening. Let's put these in here just so I can remember to mess with them later. Whoops. That is really cool. So anyway, I need to get some more iron ore. I bought a hundred of it, like I said. And I also need to... Uh, start laying the stuff inside the tunnel and making the walls and all that. So I'm going to get back to work. I just wanted to show you uh, that workbench and, and what you could make with it. Uh, but anyway, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I have completely run out of wood and need to get a lot more of it. Well, maybe about a thousand or so more. But, for the most part, the rail is completely done. Um, I do need to make a door on this. Go away! And I also need to light up the area. As you can see, it's got some dark spots. I have the mini-map up so you can see me moving. Um... I am planning on smoothing out the top layer so it isn't jagged using the hammer to or the uh, the ham axe to smooth it out like I did on the bottom but I have wood on the bottom wood on the top the stone brick for the back wall which you can't really see right now because I'm moving too fast and it is dark uh, and I need to put some torches in here so there's plenty of light. But for the most part, this is done. I don't really think I need any booster track to get down here, but uh, there we go. The light has arrived, and I have it dumping out right here. Uh, underneath the lizard temple, uh, the part where the, well, what's this called? What are you? Oh, that's right. I'll have to look on the map. Lizard altar. Go away. Stop attacking me. Uh, right under the chamber where the lizard altar is. Uh, I might end up killing the uh, plantera again just to get rid of that, but who knows, maybe it'll come back again, whatever. Uh, now, as far as the rest of this is concerned, I'm, I definitely picked up or bit off more than I can chew for uh, one episode. Uh, this has taken me a long time to put this in. Many thousands of blocks. And I am going to have to pick this back up where I've left off with the next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave a message in the comment section below, I'll do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. Uh, but I'm going to wrap up here, pick up where I've left off, finish off the rail system with the next episode, and then go after the frost moon again i think i i may have uh figured out what i need to be using real quick before i finish off uh where'd i put them i put them in here ammo box magic quiver and the ammo box gets placed in the world and the shroomite armor so I, I just need to find a couple more accessories and I, sh I should be good. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. Thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.